everyone and welcome to our Hape Quadrilla Advanced class. In the previous lesson we already learned about what coding is and today we're gonna take a look at the interesting accessories and rails that the advanced coding set contains. Take a look at this big red spiral. It's cool, isn't it? It's called the spiral twist and the marbles can roll down this really nicely. Let's give it a try. Firstly, let's find a marble collector and some blocks and then we can put the spiral twist on them. Collector, we can take different colors here and remember to have the base here. Now, does everyone think it looks a little bit weird? Does it look a little bit slopped? Yes, good for you if you noticed and that's our problem. Does everyone remember that in the previous lesson we said that the rail must be horizontal in order for the marbles to roll freely? Now, this is a perfect time for us to make a little demonstration. First, let's launch a marble on the slope rail and see what happens. We need our marble starter and the marble. Oh, please. Pay attention that we need to have the right exit on the right side. So I'm going to put it this way and try again. Oh, here we need a shutter. Let's put it here and try one more time. We find that the marble can't roll and even returns to its starting point. Why do you think it is? Try to think for a second. That's right, it's due to gravity. If the marble rolls in an inclined rail, the gravity will counteract its initial falling velocity. And that is why the rails need to remain horizontal when working with quadrilla marble run. In order to make the spiral twist horizontal, we need to add some purple height adjusters. I'll put this down first and get a purple adjuster. Now let's have a look. It still seems a little bit uneven. I am going to try to add one more. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It seems quite good now. Now let's give it a try. Rolling. Oh, see, we have a problem. Please remember that your block exit should match with the marble collector pathway. And also, we need the accelerator. Let's try again. We should succeed this time. Yes, as you can see, this time marble rolls smoothly without any resistance. Now, do you want to know a fun thing about spiral twist? It is actually a double side rail and marbles can also roll on the reverse side. Let me show you. We can take this and reverse. We use the shutter on the other side, but on this side we can also use the accelerator. Now let's try to run the marble. Super cool, isn't it? Now, besides the spiral twist, we have another amazing item in the Quadrilla Advanced Coding Set. It's called Transparent Ladder. Here it is. And interesting enough, the height of this ladder equals two blocks. Let's see, one and two. As you can see, they are the same height. Now, when we put the marbles in this, we can clearly see that they begin to roll slower. Should we try? Here we have the marble collector. We have the accelerator. Now let's run a marble. Did you notice? It went down a little slower. Okay, that's 
all for today's class. In the next class, we will officially begin the Quadrilla Advanced Coding Set Challenges. I can't wait to get started. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.